Hello, Temple Bethel. We've had an extraordinary year, haven't we? We've celebrated joys, we've mourned losses, and we've connected with our community in both familiar and innovative settings. And as we welcome 5782 on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, our commitment is to being together as safely as possible as a community. Some of us will choose to come to Temple and some of us will choose to remain at home and participate online. And wherever we are, we will be together, united by the timeless messages of the season, of hope, of healing, of gratitude, a desire for the better world, for an openness to growth and sweetness that is possible in our own lives. And we will experience the meaning and the majesty of the high holy days. In recent days, you should have received information in the mail about high holidays here at Temple Bethel. And it's our intention to offer multiple ways to access the holidays in our sanctuary and building and streaming at home. So here's what we need from you. Go to our website and register for services to tell us if you're coming in person and you need parking, or if you're gonna be streaming at home and you need information about all of the services, all the service times that are on the website or in our packet. There's lots of opportunities for personal and family reflection. We also need volunteers and greeters and ushers. And you can let us know if you're willing to do that on also our websites. So go to www.templebethel.org or to the gateway, tbecltgateway.com, and you can find all the information. Temple Bethel is truly a vital community with history and values and aspirations. And above our ark, we read, Achen yesh makom hazeh. Surely God is in this place. These words inspire us to look for the divine wherever we are, whether it is here in our sanctuary or in our homes. Shana tova. May we return and reconnect and renew in this new year.